Yeah. Um, also, something that the that the amigo tried to like poison the public with is by trying to show that the girls were basically treated and and, and treated like a slave, kind of like tied on by a chain and and couldn't go anywhere. They made sure let the public know that these girls had no way of, of basically contacting a police. Right. And, and and if you show that the girls basically had no way of contacting the police or scared to leave or talk to the police or scared to do certain things, they can basically come to human trafficking conviction. So they want to poison the public by having the public think, hey, these girls are so scared, they couldn't go to the police because they were fearing for their life and they thought all kind of crap would take place with them. So I want us to basically explain to the public something, even though you're here in America again and I'm in Aruba, we are on Skype and talking to the public still so we can understand what's going on. Well, I would like to address that. I mean, I, I can begin by addressing that because that's one of the, the that's one of the statements that Amigo uh, put that really enraged me, Alex. And it uh, not only upset me, but it also made me very sad because for the Public Prosecutor's Office of Aruba and the Amigo to lie about something that is so easily disproven is scary because obviously you basically, that tells me that you feel like you can get away with murder. That's what that tells me because you're lying, you, you, you're saying something that is so easily proven is not true. And I'll give you an example so you can understand. Many times, they got away with murder many times. Many times, people were killed and people disappeared in Aruba and they got away with it. And that's why they feel they will get away with this again. But go ahead. Yeah, like for example, these girls had their own rental cars, okay? The girls who had driver's licenses would drive themselves and the other girls to and from the locations that, different locations that they wanted to. For example. And, rent, and rental cars, rental cars, let me just cut you off here, and rental cars that I paid for. Correct. These rental were cars, cars that you, I paid for. Correct. So I paid your provider with a rental car so that they can go wherever they wanted to go. I paid for it. Ex I that I paid for that, but I also paid for a telephone that they can have a phone also that they can contact whoever they want to contact at any time they want to contact that person. Correct. Go ahead. I'll, I'll, get, I'll get to that. Like, for example, with the rental cars, these girls who had driver's licenses would pick up the car and drive themselves to the hair salon. Or they would drive themselves to the gym. They would, they would drive themselves to the beach. They would drive themselves to movie theaters. They would go out on dates. I mean, some of these girls had boyfriends in Aruba, so they would take the car to go visit their boyfriends. Some of these girls had families in Aruba, and they would go visit their families and spend time with their families here in Aruba and go out for dinner or whatnot. Besides the rental cars that you are paying for, they also, some of the girls would take taxis to different locations. And during the time that they're within the taxis, you know, it was so sad for me because actually when I was in Aruba and actually during the time you were detained, I got a random phone call from a taxi driver who had said that he had just seen some reports in the newspapers claiming that these women were not free. And he actually took the initiative on his own to go to the police station and explain to the police that clearly it wasn't true because he said, hey, I used to have these, I used to drive these girls around. Sometimes these girls would call me to pick them up. And during the time that they were in the car with me, they were laughing, smiling, joking, and even making like suggestions to him about different things. And they were playing around. So clearly, if you're asking for a taxi to take you to the beach, you clearly can ask for a taxi to take you to the doctors, the hospital, the airport, the emergency room, anything. You know what I'm saying? So obviously that doesn't make sense. Other girls would even take the bus. And they would take the bus from one side of the island to go all the way to the next side of the island by themselves with no security, with nobody. On top of that, some of these girls would go to the gym. Some of these girls would get up around 5, 6, 7 o'clock in the morning and go jogging. They would go jogging around the neighborhood by themselves or go jogging at the beach. You have some of these other girls that, again, like I said... For sure, 100%, that's proven. And, but uh, everybody used to see that, that as well. That, exactly. That, everyone saw that. And we have 100 witnesses that would have come to us, of would have go with us to court to testify to these facts. To testify to these facts. But a judge, the judge that flew in from Kiroso, especially, 
I believe now, to sabotage our case, touch drop, Kerosol oil, a Kerosol jet from Kerosol, flow down to my case, to sabotage my case, to make sure that I can't bring no witnesses, no witnesses to my hearing, so that him, the Dutch prosecutors, and the Amigo could join hands together and come to a conviction, and the public would be happy and say, well, you know what? Alex Macho, that's what you did. We heard it, we saw it, we read it in the newspapers, and that's okay. That's good then. So they tried to manipulate the whole thing in this form. And I want the public to think about this really, really good because Aruba belongs to us. Aruba does not belong to them. This is our home. We live here. We have to protect here. We have to protect our system. And protecting our system is not sweeping things under the mat. It's also not making sure that you that you cover up certain crimes from taking place. And it's also not making the judge, making sure that we need the judges do as they please against us as Arubians. It's not only against us as Arubians, as the Kerosolanians, the Dutch judges do exactly the same. The Bonarians, the Dutch judges do the exact same. Are we locals have to defend ourselves, have to defend our system. And it's time for we to stand up and defend our system and defend ourselves against these corrupt people in Aruba, Kiroso, St. Martin, and Bonaire. Thank you.